I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on collinear points. The question here is if the point P minus 3, 9, Q, A, B, and R 4 minus 5 are collinear and A plus B equals to 1, find the values of A and B. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now when we say that the points are collinear, in that case, area of the triangle, area of triangle PQR has to be zero, right? Since they are collinear, they are in the same line, correct? So the area has to be zero. Now, the formula for area is equal to half of, if the points are x1, x2, y1, y2, uh, x2, y2, and uh, x3, y3, then the formula is x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2, okay? And we always take the absolute value of this. It has to be a positive value. Now, in our case, we are considering the point, which is the points for us are P is minus 3, 9, Q is AB and R is 4 minus 5. Okay? So we'll consider this to be the first point. So we'll use this as the order, right? 1, 2, and 3. Now, area is 0. So let me start with writing 0 equals to half of absolute value of minus 3 times b minus 5, that is b plus 5, correct? Plus a times minus 5 minus 9. Plus 4 times 9 minus b. Perfect. <clears throat> so that becomes your uh, area. And that is 0. So multiply by 2, we get 0 equals 2. Now we can open this bracket. Uh, let me just solve this first. <clears throat> it is uh, minus 3 times b plus 5 plus a times 9 times 9 and this is 14, right? So minus 14. And here we have plus 4 times 9 minus b. Okay, let's open this bracket. So we have minus 3b minus 15 minus 14a, 4 times 9, 36, minus 4b. <coughs> Let's combine the terms. Minus 4b minus 3b is minus 7b. <coughs> as far as a is concerned, we have minus 14a, and 36 minus 15 is 21, so we have plus 21. Now we can rearrange, bringing these terms to the left side, we have 14a plus 7b equals to 21. Dividing by 7, we get 2a plus b equals to 7 times 3 is 21, right? So we get an equation relating a and b, which is kind of like this, correct? We are already given a plus b is 1. So, so we'll use these two equations now. One equation given to us is a plus b equals to 1. So we have a plus b equals to 1. Second, we just got 2a plus b equals to 3. Now, these are the two equations to solve to find both a and b. Is it okay? 1, 2. So if I do equation 2, take away equation 1, 2a minus a is a that is 0, and 3 minus 1 is 2, right? So we get a equals to 2. As soon as I substitute here 2, I get 2 plus b equals to 1, or b equals to 1 minus 2, which is minus 1, right? So we get our answer, and that is a is equals to 2, and b is equals to minus 1, right? So that is how we can actually solve this question. So I hope with this you have learned 
how to solve questions based on linear points. Linear points really means that all the points are in the same line and therefore even if you form a kind of triangle its area is going to be zero and that concept is utilized in solving such questions. Feel free to post your comments and remarks and if you like and subscribe that'd be good. Thank you and all the best.